Hello everybody. Um, today we're going to resin a big piece. So I need at least 30 ounces of resin to do my 30 by 40 canvas. So we're going to, like, as you can see, I made a few uh, little lines here that I pre-measured. So we have to put equal parts of the hardener and the resin. Uh, by the way, I use Crystal Resin. It's a company based in Toronto. Um, so that's why I pre-measured. You have to put, like in these cups, it's a 16 ounces, but I, I like to have room for uh, uh, stirring really well. So I pre-measured five ounces and five ounces. So three of these make 10 ounces. So I should have enough for my big canvas. So I always start off by measuring the hardener, the part two. So I start off, okay, I'm gonna put the hardener down in this cup until we get to the measure that I did, five ounces. Okay. See, like so. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll do the second one. Here we are, and now the third one. Okay, here it is. Now, this stuff can really get sticky and messy. So I always have around a little bottle of a rubbing alcohol and wipes so you can take the gooey stuff off your crystal resin bottle like so. See? That's it. Not longer than that. Okay now. Let's measure now the resin part. I have to bring it up to here. I'll just turn it towards me so I can see what I'm doing. See, it's pretty gooey and this stuff is a lot more thicker than the hardener. So it takes a little bit more time. Here we are. Okay, this is one. Okay, this is two, and now let's measure the third one here. It's very, very important that you have equal parts and that you measure it right because you want the resin to 
just be perfect. So if you have too much hardener, it's not going to work. And if you have too much resin, it's not going to work either. Okay. So this done, just put the lid back on. Okay, now just have to start shaking this up, stirring it up at least. I <laughs> mean, so scrape the sides of your cup and the bottom and stir it well because it's very important. Once you start stirring, it's it gets almost like milky, you know, like foggy in there. But it's going to come clear again. Once you stir it up very well, it's going to come clear again. So now uh, I'm just scraping the sides of the glass. And my stick too. You have to scrape off the stick and then just take it all back up and just stir it again. So you're going to see that when you stir it up, it makes a lot of bubbles in here, you know. But once you put it on a canvas, and uh, you can take a heat gun and take all the air bubbles on the canvas. So it dries really well. Straight the bottom of the cup, the sides. Okay, this should be, you know, it's getting clear, and but there's a lot of bubbles in here. So I'm going to pause you, and I'll be back once the two other ones are stirred very well. So uh, I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, now we're back. As you can see, I stirred all my... Resin, very good. Still has bubble, but like I said, it's pretty fine like this. Uh, we're gonna take care of that later on. Okay, now I will show you the canvas that I'm going to resin. So this is the canvas that I want to resin. I embellished it with a few stones well, actually, it's Swarovski stones that I put all over the canvas. I glued them on yesterday with uh, just a little bit of resin. So now we're going to pour the resin on top of this and see what it looks like. And, you know, the funny thing of this is we I just found another batch, well, about 10 more stones so I'm going to put the resin on and after I put the resin on, I'll put, you know, the stones that I have left. So I'm just going to put you here. Oops, sorry about that. I'll try to focus. Okay, I think that's not too bad. Just turn you a little bit again. Yeah, like this. Okay. So, let's get rocking. Okay. I will take the stick just to clean this cup off. There's a lot of resin inside, so just take it all out of the cup. Okay, that's pretty 
pretty much good. Cup number two. So as you can see, it's plenty, you know, 30 ounces on this big canva, 30 by 40 inches. Okay. Now this is the fun part of it, that you just use your hands, just try to put it as even as possible, and it evens itself anyway. So start by the middle, Putting all the resin all over the place here. And I'm going to go all around the canvas just to make sure that. There's enough of resin everywhere. Don't forget the sides, but I'm, I'm not there yet, you know? I'm just putting it on the top. Well, actually, I'm putting it on the sides now, right now. <laughs> okay. Slide it on the sides with your thumb. Make sure there's enough. But you know, usually I do two coats of resin. Because normally when I put one coat, um, the sides are covered. But you know this, this little edge here? The, the canvas shows through. And I'm not you know, I don't really like that when it does that. So that's why I usually put two coats of resin on my canvases. Okay. All around. And you know, when you do it with your fingers like this, you really, really, really feel how much, excuse me, how much there are, there is resin on on the canvas. So that's the fun part of it. With your hands, you really feel it. Some people maybe use, I don't know, spatula or, but I don't think that you can feel it as well. So it's better to, to do it with your hands. And it's pretty fun, believe me. It's a lot of fun doing this. Like, you know, just putting your hands in this gooey stuff. <laughs> it's really, really fun. I love it. So, of course, it's falling on the floor, but I've covered the floor with uh, like transparent sheets that, you know, I get rid of after I finished painting and resining. Let's see. 
effort. Okay, now I'm just going to close by, just like I said, you know, this, these little edges. Try to put enough of this stuff, this resin all over the place. Excuse me again. <laughs> See here, I had a feeling that, you know, I was touching the canvas. Here, here too. I can see it. So I'm putting a little bit more of resin on the sides. So I feel there's enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, now. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of bubbles in here. And I can't pick you up because, you know, I can't, I can't bring you in closer because of the hands full of resin, so. Okay, now I'm just gonna wet my hands a little bit. Uh, so I, I can Take my heat gun and just pop these bubbles out. Now, as you will see, I don't want to mess my heat gun up, so I'm picking it up with a little paper towel. Okay, so it's going to make a lot of noise, but uh, it's not going to be too long because you don't want to overheat, you know, the resin, because if you do, I mean, it's not going to look good. So oh, here it is. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see from up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Oh, some of them are upside down left so I'm going to add it in here see it had to fell on the wrong side that's the bad part of it <laughs> okay again oh my gosh Oh my goodness. Stay putting on the right side, please. OK. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take it on the wrong side right now. We'll see it's gonna fall if it's gonna fall on the right side. Okay, let's put one here. No, it always falls on the wrong on the wrong side. My god. My gosh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm having a hard time with this one. Please, will you stay put on the right side? Oh my goodness, this one, this one was a hard one. <laughs> okay, this one was easy. Okay, that one too. So far so good. Okay, I'm gonna put one, one more over here. Here on the top. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see, one more here. Oh yeah, of course. It fell on the wrong side. Okay. I think I'm gonna put another one on the top here. Excuse me again. Okay, one more. Hmm. Okay, excuse me again. I think I'm going to put it right here. Oh, maybe a little lower. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I had ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Nine. Where's the tenth one? Did I lose one? <laughs> Maybe I could. I could have lost one. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. That's okay. I've put them all. Okay. So I'll just clean up my hands with uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Just a second here, and I'll bring you close. I'll, I'll do a close-up with you guys. Okay, just wipe my gloves with alcohol. Okay, I'm good now. Excuse me again, I'll show you the good stuff. Excuse me of the glare of the light, the lighting that I use, because today is not a real nice day. It's, it's rainy. Oh my God. Yeah, the glare of the window. But you know, you really need that glare to help you see if there's any fluff or hair in your resin. Because if there is, you have to take them off quickly, really quickly. But it seems okay. I think, oh, I see one. I see one right over here. So I will take it out with little a pair of tweezers okay I'll put you back and focus and then we'll go get that little rascal oh tweezers or you can take a toothpick you know i prefer toothpicks i've done a few and i think it's easier with a toothpick just taking the fluff out and the, the hair Okay, I said it was over here, so here it is. I, just like so, you just, I don't know if you can see it, but I did grab it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a look if there's any other hair in here. 
So that's why we usually do this during daylight. Because during daylight you have this glare that you can see if there's any hair or any fluff in there. Because you know, I have three cats and uh, sometimes it happens that there's a few hairs in here. So I'm going to just push down on these ones. Okay. So there you have it. How to resin a big piece, a 30 by 40 inch canvas. So like I said, I used 15 ounces of the hardener and 15 ounces of the resin. And I divided it in three cups so I could, you know, easily stir it as you, you've seen. So I will show you the dry results. Thank you for being there and uh, au revoir. Hi guys, uh, this is Manon uh, again. Uh, this is the piece that I resined. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty shiny because you can see uh, the glare <laughs> in it. And I added a mask that I bought in Venice and already the mask, I'll show you closer, I uh, have Swarovski, Swarovski. <laughs> Boy, I'm having a hard time with this word. Swarovski stones, see? And that beautiful unicorn. And uh, yeah, so that's why I added more while I was uh, doing the resin on this piece. I think it adds a lot of punch because you know the colors are pretty, I mean, there's gold, there's brass, there's zinc into this, a little bit black. And I just wanted a little bit sparkles and I think that, yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good match. Look at the shimmer in this. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I like it. So this is it, guys. Uh, see you later. And thanking, I'm thanking you uh, so much to be there and uh, support me. <laughs> I appreciate it. So uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, take care of you all. Au revoir.